Whew. Good to get the three points. It's a special game for Everton fans, uh, especially given all the hardship we've been through the last uh, week between the Derby loss, Leicester, Sack and Silva, all that. Uh, you know, seeing Big Dunk get a chance to to lead the team out and and be on the touchline was a special moment for Everton fans. Uh, and there's just a lot of excitement coming into this game from that standpoint. Probably a little bit of nerves too, just because you could probably see it going the total opposite way that it did, uh, given, like I said, the week week the team and the fans have all been through. But uh, made sure the, that the stadium was bouncing, it seemed. Big Dunk got everybody hyped for the game. A lot of chatter on Twitter about that. It seemed like everybody was ready to get behind the team. And it, it, it I think that did uh, propel the team on. Um, woke up a little bit nervous and excited and was a little disappointed by the team sheet, but only because I was hoping uh, just to see one of the the young under-23 guys, not Beningami, but there's another guy. I was hoping maybe they put him in the midfield because really that's what scares me, that our midfield is just decimated by injuries. And I my mindset is like, just throw somebody there that should be that is that can do the job. We just need some legs in there that can um, just run around. And even if the kid is all he's doing is running around and harassing Chelsea's midfield, I would been would have been happy. But Dunk went with uh, uh, he went with uh, Snyderlin. Uh, Sigerson was in the game, and I think that was the midfield. Uh, same back four as usual. Uh, Richarlison, um, uh, Calvert-Lewin, and Walcott were up front. So, uh, I'm missing a player. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, just glad to see the win, man. Jumped out uh, jumped out front quick, uh, I think about six minutes in, which it seems too early because, you know, you know, Everton has a hard time holding on to those leads. But generally, when we do get that first goal, there's a good chance – Everton will, you know, get a win. So that first goal was crucial, despite it coming so early. Um, and it was cool seeing Big Dunk celebrate over on the sideline. There, he was, he was hype all game. Uh, but after that goal, you know, Chelsea made their push. Uh, here in America, we're all behind Christian Pulisic because he's just our great hope in soccer. So uh, I was a little worried that he would tear us to shreds and he had his opportunities and William I've always thought he was an excellent player and thought he deserved more time think he does deserve more time in Chelsea's lineup I think he has been getting a good run there and he caused problems Tammy Abraham you know I don't know him as well as a lot of other soccer football fans uh, but apparently he's in good form but um, maybe coming off injury all that said is uh, we just soaked up a lot of pressure from Chelsea they had possession you know, most of the game made me a little nervous because uh, just knowing that we were leak so leaky in that Derby game, didn't know what to expect from our defense this game. And we did get bossed around in the midfield all game, I think. But what I will say is Ever Everton were battling. Like, they, you could see a marked difference between uh, just how we'd been playing before to today. Like, they weren't – we were fighting for every ball. We were still second to a lot of balls sometime, but we were fight. Once we got to the ball, we were fighting for it. We were taking out shins. There was a lot of that going on, a lot of little fouls. I was starting to see where Chelsea's guys were getting away from us because they just had the speed. They had the legs to just, you know, they, they, they're they young and they had just better midfield to me. and. Look, looked like we were starting to clutch and grab a little bit, so I was worried that more yellows are going to start getting thrown our way. And I think Rashardson did pick up a yellow for it was kind of a behind the the ball tackle, and uh, I think there was another yellow given. But you know, the ref let, I, in my opinion, I think the ref let a lot of that go both sides, maybe more toward us. Maybe I don't, I don't think any ref is sort of lenient toward the toward Everton, but. I'll take it. Um, I didn't see any any wussy sort of fouls given, like something that was just like blatant dive and the ref give it. So whatever. Uh, it's good to not be so upset with the refs for a game, uh, for a change. So uh, what else? We got the goal early. Chelsea came on us. We held out for the half. 
Got a second goal in the um, second half from DCL, I believe. Uh, the first one was a nice header from Rashawn, and it's classic. It's becoming classic. It's <laughs> essentially Sadibe throwing that ball in from the right, and and Rashawn coming sneaking in uh, behind the play and heading it in in the box. Uh, it's I think teams are gonna have to start really scheming against that because um, it seems like the last three games Rashawn has scored that way. Um, but anyway, that was the first goal. DCL scored one. Uh, he had a good chance in the first half that I just thought he rushed his chance. He had, I don't know if he had time, but he definitely had space and could have maybe taken an extra half second or two to sort of place the ball. It seemed like he just wanted to get it out of his feet quick. But, of course, that's always the knock on DCL is that he kind of doesn't, doesn't always have that scorer's touch, but... Today, he put that to bed. He got more chances today, too. So, I can't, for the life of me, remember what his second goal even looked like. But uh, he scored a second one. Uh, so, we were 2-0. Uh, and uh, started to get a little cautiously optimistic then. But then, of course, you know, knowing Everton being Everton, they Chelsea gets a, a goal where, you know, they're pinging the box into our. They're pinging the ball into our box. It's bouncing around. We kick it out, if I remember correctly. I think we did kick it out, and then outside the box, they one of their guys just takes a shot, and I think it was a midfield player, and it it gets in. I mean, P Pickford just kind of couldn't get over there to it. Uh, he slots one in. It's two one, and then uh, getting really nervous. Then more pressure from Chelsea. More scrapping. Everton's battling for balls. Awobi's chasing down balls. Everybody, you know, the the team never really gave up. And uh, eventually, we get the the third goal from DCL on a sort of a kind of a, <laughs> a Keystone Cops goal for me because uh, I forget where it all started. But the ball, we we get the ball in the box from uh, I can't remember who. I'm so bad about this. But we get the ball in the box. It's bouncing around between, I think, Davies and uh, Calvert-Lewin. And Calvert-Lewin kind of just on his side, on the ground, he's laid out, slots it in with his left foot, I want to say, and just gets it. Uh, oh, that play started from the goalkeeper just giving the ball back to us. Uh, it was a bad mistake. I think he was just trying to play it out to Zuma or something. I don't know where he was going with it, but it ended up on uh, – uh, uh, with us, we got the ball and fed it back into the box, and then the Keystone Cops thing starts happening. Ball's just pinging around. Calvin Lewin gets his foot on it last, and that ends up going in. And so that's two for Lewin. Uh, so DCL, man, for all the flack he took this at the beginning of this season, uh, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, does he deserve to have the number nine shirt for our club? And, I mean, I, I was just as skeptical, too. I'm not going to lie. But he's he's been more – He's been more of a consistent scorer than I think people would have predicted this season. And right now, he's our top striker. I mean, Charleston is also scoring like we need him to. But where Sigerson's falling off and isn't doing jack for as far as goals, I mean, he's got maybe one that goal from the West Ham game um, where he came in as a sub. But DCL is actually putting the ball, the ball in the net, and we can't be mad at that. Uh... But just excited and happy to be given a reaction where we get three points. I think we're we have 17 points now. We're 14th at this moment, but th this is I think the first game of the weekend, so we'll probably slide back down the table a little bit. But if I looked at it and my math was correct, I think we just need Bournemouth to lose. We just I, I hate the root for Liverpool, but. Just do do a job, Liverpool. <laughs> keep Bournemouth where they are. Keep them with 16 points, and we'll stay out of the relegation zone for this week. I, I think there's some other matchups, like Crystal Palace plays, uh, I forget, uh, Southampton or something like that. We just need to, of course, the teams that are below us right now to not win. I don't think that's going to happen across the board, so... We'll probably slide back down, but just stay out of the relegation zone and just got to keep picking up points. I think we have Man U next, and uh, that's going to be a tough match. The bar I go to is a Man U bar, so <laughs> it's going to be a little weird. Probably 
there's way more Man U fans than Everton fans, so it's gonna be weird, you know, in a crowd of uh, Man U fans. But um, Man U's not the best. I mean, they they're I feel like they're about like us, but maybe a little bit better in that they are probably a worry. Uh, definitely up front with their forwards, and their midfield is definitely better than ours right now because we don't have one. And but their um, defensive players are probably average at best. Uh, that's that's probably uh, surprising for them considering they got Juan Masaka and then uh, what was the dude's name? They got McGuire. Um, so. I don't think it's going to be easy. I think that's an away game for us. So not to be given a preview or a match preview of that, but just looking at where we're going to be able to pick up points. I think a lot of fans were worried we wouldn't pick up these three points. So um, losing to one and two in the on the table isn't, while those were heartbreaking, they weren't necessarily surprising, I guess. And um, But winning, I mean, Chelsea's in the top of the table too. I think they're three or four, maybe five. I don't know. Uh, I really don't get a chance to look at the top of the table, unfortunately, because <laughs> we're always down in the middle and the bottom. So uh, just glad to pick up these three and don't know what this means for as far as managerial hopes. You know, we got this win. I think it maybe gives uh, the board a little bit more breathing room and takes off a little bit of pressure in the management search, you know, uh, just – I think, and, and all I mean by that is that fans aren't going to be up in arms if D- Big Dunk has to manage another game. Uh, I don't, you know, who, who who knows how long that could last. We went through that with Unsworth where sort of up and down. And you probably do need to get somebody in that is going to be the more permanent, you know, guy in charge. Give him a time to set up and see what he likes, who he likes and everything. But anyway, uh, just quickly, just... I never really have done this, but my man of the match would probably be uh, DCL just because the two goals, he worked hard out there. He was running all game and uh, just didn't give up. And uh, same for Awobi, man. I mean, I remember he was chasing down a ball on the goalkeeper's foot like in 90 minutes. He just came from midfield just blazing down. And I, what I've learned, you know, from – from as being a fan for all these years is that that's what's rewarded at Goodison is just the hard work you put in the effort the people be happy you know I and I really believe that I mean you can't that's all you can do in any sport is just just leave it all out on the field and uh, unfortunately it, you can argue it's debatable whether or not the team's done that every game this season uh, and maybe a lot of times in life even you just have to get to your low point before you really stop taking things for granted. Maybe the team had to learn that lesson. I, I don't know. could just be the the big dunk manager bounce too. So either way, we'll take it. Three points up the toffees. <laughs>